Some anthropologists argue that the human species could not have survived prehistoric times if the species had not evolved the ability to cope with diverse natural environments. Okay, it's a little wordy, but the bottom line is that some anthropologists think, so this is the opinion of someone else, those people think that we couldn't have made it, we couldn't have made it if we had not evolved the ability to cope with diverse natural environments. We wouldn't have made it if we hadn't gotten good at coping, coping, um, being able to deal with uh, a variety of different places, right? Mountains, uh, valleys, uh, deserts, whatever. If we hadn't, if we hadn't developed the ability to cope with these different places, then we wouldn't have made it implication well we did make it so we must have evolved the ability to cope with all these different places um, okay that's what they think however there is considerable evidence that something I'll just call it a a a prehistoric species related to early humans also thrived in a diverse array of environments okay so if the anthropologists are right, then we got the ability to survive or to cope with a variety of different environments. This other species did as well, but unfortunately became extinct. Hence, conclusion, the anthropologist's claim is false. Ooh. -hoo. All right. So we needed this ability to survive, right? If we didn't have it, then we would have, we wouldn't have made it. In other words, if if we wanted to survive, this is something that we needed. Uh, to see that, take a look at the if statement in the uh, in the first sentence. If uh, we hadn't evolved the ability to cope, if we hadn't evolved the ability to cope, then we would not have survived. Right? Um, contrapositive, if we survived, which we did, then we must have evolved the ability to cope. That's what the anthropologists are saying. That's their original claim, right? I'm actually going to get rid of this because these two statements mean the exact same thing, right? They're just the contrapositive, flip and negate. Um, this is what the anthropologists believe. Now we know that this other species came along and they also um, developed the ability to cope with a variety of different environments. So AA develops, developed the ability to cope. Unfortunately, however, we know that AA didn't survive, right? It didn't survive. Does that do these two facts? Because these are the two facts that were given to us after the however, prove that this claim right here is false. No, they don't. Right? Like, this is basically saying if you want to survive, then you have to evolve this ability to cope with different environments. Great, we did survive, so we must have evolved it. <laughs> um, this other species had this ability, but they didn't survive. So this must be false? Not necessarily. This right here is a necessary condition, right? This is the sufficient condition, and this is the necessary condition. In an if-then statement, the if clause is always the sufficient condition, the then clause is always the necessary condition. This is something that we needed. But just because it's something that you need doesn't mean that once you get it, you'll be good to go, right? Like, if you want to survive, then you have to be able to cope with other environments. Does that mean, though, that once you have that ability, you will definitely survive? No, that's not what that is saying. This is saying, if survive, then cope, not if you can cope, then you will survive. That would be a false contrapositive. That would be going backward. That would be treating what is a necessary condition 
as if it were a sufficient condition, right? Because it is, in fact, a necessary condition. The ability to cope with a diverse array of environments is something that we absolutely needed, but just because we have it does not guarantee that we will survive. So when this person looked at the other species and said, hey, they have the ability to cope with diverse environments, but they can't survive, they feel like <laughs> this disproves this. What, this. what these two facts really disprove is they disprove this idea. They disprove this. If, you, if, if the anthropologists were trying to claim that coping or the ability to cope with diverse environments would guarantee that you would survive, if that's what they had said, then this right here would disprove that. They'd be like, hey, they could cope, but they didn't survive. So this claim is not true. These facts disprove this. They don't disprove this. Um, it's very possible that something is necessary, uh, uh, but that other things are necessary as well. The most classic example of this is like water, right? You could say, hey, to survive, you need water, but just because you need water <laughs> doesn't mean that you'll now survive. The same is true here. This is saying, hey, if you want to survive, you have to be able to cope with a di diverse array of environments. Great. That doesn't mean that now that you have that ability, you will survive. That's a totally different claim. That's this claim right here. So these facts disprove this. They don't disprove this. So because this author thinks that these facts disprove this, when in reality, they disprove this, the author basically confused a necessary condition with a sufficient condition, right? They took what they thought was a necessary, well, they took what is in fact a necessary condition and they treated it as if it were a suffi sufficient condition. So that's their mistake. It's uh, commonly called a false contrapositive, not on the LSAT, but we might call it that because they basically mixed up their contrapos contrapositive, right? This was what was actually said originally, and they somehow equated it with this. They thought that you could go from here to here. You can't do that. Um, all right, so what is the flaw in the argument? Uh, confusing a sufficient condition with a necessary condition, or vice versa. Answer choice A. Confusion confuses a condition being required for a given result to occur. Yes. They confused a condition being required, the ability to cope with diverse environments, which is a condition that is required for a given result to occur. What is the given result to occur? Survival. This is a necessary condition for survival. It's something you absolutely have to do if you want to survive. They confuses, this argument confuses a necessary condition being required for survival in one case, huh, the humans, us, with the conditions being sufficient for such a result to occur in a similar case. Aha! Uh -huh. they, they said, oh, they, they got confused. What was necessary for us, they thought was sufficient for that other species. That's the similar case. Uh, they're similar to us, but they're not the same, right? That's exactly what this argument said. They said a, a prehistoric species related to early humans, so similar to us. A is definitely the answer, but let's take a look at the rest. B takes for granted that if one species had a characteristic that happened to enable it to survive, this is already wrong. Um, we don't know of any species, including us, that had a characteristic that happened to enable it to survive, right? This didn't happen to enable it to survive. If you say something enables someone to survive, um, then uh, it makes it sound like it's sufficient. Like, oh, that thing made you survive, as opposed to that thing being required for you to survive. Um, 
if that if you weren't sure whether that made it wrong you could keep going at least one related extinct species must have had the same characteristic this argument isn't assuming that anyone else had to have the characteristic that anyone else that went extinct had to have the characteristic it's only saying well they did have the characteristic but they didn't survive so it must not be necessary that's what they concluded really all they conclude is that it must not be sufficient because if they had it and they didn't survive then that characteristic must not have been sufficient it must not have been enough to help them survive they must have needed something else as well um, but when they said hence the anthropologist claim is false what they really said was, oh, it's not necessary, right? Because the, the anthropologist's claim was, this characteristic is necessary. If you want to survive, then you have to have it. And so when they said, they're wrong, they're saying, it's not necessary. Unfortunately, the only thing that they proved is that it's not sufficient. Anyways, um, this argument is not taking this for granted. It's not making this assumption. So answer choice B is wrong. C generalizes from the fact that one species with a certain characteristic survived certain conditions. That would be us. We had a certain characteristic and we survived certain conditions. That all related species with the same characteristic must have survived exactly the same conditions. That's a little weird. Um, first of all, it didn't generalize in this way, right? It didn't say that because we survived with this characteristic, all related species with the same characteristic must have survived exactly the same conditions. Um, it assumed that, what did it think? It thought that because we had this characteristic and survived, anyone else with the character characteristic must have survived as well, but not necessarily exactly the same conditions. So answer choice C is wrong because the last part is inaccurate. Also, when you just think about this answer choice and you step back a little bit and you say, is this describing what happened? No, because the argument didn't generalize in this way. If if it did anything related to what's going on in C, it made this assumption. So like if answer choice C said, assumes from the fact that one species with a certain characteristic survived, that all related species with the same characteristic must have survived, that would be a lot more tempting. But to say that it generalizes means is describing something that didn't actually happen. Because an assumption is an unstated premise, right? It's something that wasn't said. And the argument does seem to be assuming something along these lines. But um, it's not, even then, it would still be wrong because the last part of it says exactly the same conditions. And we weren't assuming that they they were all in exactly the same conditions. The, the other species may have been in the mountains, and we may have been in the desert, or whatever. Um, but uh, even if that last little part wasn't there, the generalizes, I think, makes this wrong because it's really an assumption. It really was something that wasn't even said outright. Okay, so there's two reasons why C is wrong. It's not, a, it's not something the argument generalized. It assumed it. And the last part of it makes it so that it's not even an assumption that was made because we didn't make specifically an assumption about the exact same conditions. Um, so, B is wrong, C is wrong, D. Fails to consider the possibility that this other species had one or more characteristics that lessened its chances of surviving prehistoric times. Um, fails to consider the possibility. So what if this other species had one or more characteristics that lessened its chances of surviving prehistoric times? Um, that would 
that would explain why it died, right? Um, I think <laughs> we still go back to the original problem, which was that they thought that the anthropologists were claiming that coping with diverse environments guaranteed survival. Um, if, <laughs> if you think that, then answer choice D could explain why you're right. So answer choice D would actually strengthen the argument. But um, since that is not what the anthropologists were originally saying, we have to go back to that error. I guess what I'm trying to say with answer choice D is that answer choice D is wrong on two levels. If we fix the mistake that the original author made, then answer choice D is wrong because it strengthens that argument. Um, but if we don't fix that mistake, then we're kind of back to that mistake again. Like, answer to D um, doesn't really matter for the, for the anthropologist because, or for this person, because they're saying they did become extinct. So whether they failed to consider this possibility or not, um, yeah, they still became extinct, and you'd only care that other things might have made them extinct if you think this is flipped around. I know that's confusing, but um, I guess what I'm saying is that no matter how you look at D, you got to go back to answer choice A because that's the original source of the problem. Um, answer choice E fails to consider the possibility that even if a condition caused a result to occur, in one case, it was not necessary to cause the result to occur in a similar case. Okay, even if a condition caused a result to occur in one case, that doesn't happen. Um, we don't know of any condition that caused a result to occur. The condition that they'd be referring to is the ability to cope with a diverse array of environments but did that cause us, us to survive? No, that would be, <laughs> that would be flipping and, and negating. So when it says, fails to consider the possibility that something, that even if something caused something else to happen, we're like, even if, that's not even something that's true. Like, it, <laughs> this answer choice is, not describing what is in fact being claimed. What is in fact being claimed is that survival requires this condition rather than this condition causes survival, right? Um, answer choice E is actually making the same mistake that the author of the argument is making. And so to say that hey, this argument fails to consider this possibility that even if this thing happens, and we're like, no, that doesn't even happen. So this is not describing what's happening, and this is out. Um, <laughs> they're so good at writing these answer choices. Answer choice E is like, it's like kind of what we're looking for, because it's talking about necessary and sufficient to some extent. It also talks about causation, which is a little weird, but... Um, it's like, it's backwards. If, if, if that's the easiest way to look at this, it's, it's flipped around. It needs to say something like, fails to consider the possibility that even if a condition is necessary for a result to occur in one case, it was not necessary in another case. But even then, it wouldn't describe the flaw in this argument. But at least it would be talking about what we were talking about originally, right? We know that this is in fact necessary. So when answer choice E says, even if a condition is necessary for a result to occur, we'd be like, oh, yeah, even if it is necessary, that is what we were talking about. But answer choice E is not describing the way um, the anthropologist talked about this condition.
So it doesn't fit, and this is wrong. <sighs> this is a tough question. I hope that wasn't super confusing. The most important thing to remember is that the if clause is the sufficient condition, the then clause is the necessary condition, and this author mistakenly treated what is in fact a necessary condition as if it were sufficient. And so these premises right here did a good job of disproving this claim, but they do nothing to disprove this, which is ultimately what the author was trying to do. So we can say, oops, you just got mixed up. You thought it was saying this when it was really saying this. So you confused what is required. You confused a necessary condition with a sufficient condition. That's that.